Good morning out there, traders. It is May 7th, 2024, and welcome to the Upteros Daily Market Insight. Let's go over our recap from yesterday. So not a lot of great opportunity. We nailed the bias, had the idea right in the sense that if we continue to press higher, um, we have a bullish context overall. Uh, just didn't really see any quality pullbacks into our neutral levels or whatever. The market really just kind of um, stabilized coming into the open here and then just continue to grind its way up. Um, stabilized at a neutral zone here and then just blasted right through it. So for a pullback trader, not a lot of opportunities here. Are there opportunities for breakouts? Yeah, sure. Um, but in terms of the way in which, you know, we classically approach our DMIs, our analysis, is that we usually look for acceptance to move up through an area, pull back into an area, and then use that area to kind of go with that market. And we just got too shallow um, in terms of the pullbacks. But we ended up, you know, just doing our normal thing, uh, you know, nailing a good bias, nailing good areas for targets and uh, getting a good bulk of that move um, expressed in our analysis. But tradable opportunities, it depended on your execution model um, for getting into this kind of situation here. So taking a look at the landscape for today, we find ourselves in a little bit more of a tricky situation. The reason why um, essentially is because our shorter time frames are bullish kind of heading up into the higher time frames, which have a kind of bearish destination overhead. So it's not necessarily immediate dissonance in the sense that what's really happening is as we've moved from lower areas in price and moved up, 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 we've been following the bulls and what's been happening on the upper time frames. And the risk reward landscape has been good, has been favorable. So if like this is hypothetical, but let's just say this was our area here for the higher time frames. This is our best trade location. As we go higher and higher and higher heading into this destination, our risk reward in terms of the landscape gets worse and worse and worse because we're getting closer and closer and closer to our overall target from our higher time frames. So what's really happening here is the lower time frames are continuing to show the bullish nature of this market heading into upper time frame target areas or destinations. And we're just kind of running out of risk reward. So we don't find ourselves in the best situation for intraday landscape um, and intraday, you know, positioning with that risk reward air, like, you know, landscape kind of expressing itself to us here in the analysis. Um, but you do see, you know, a bull zone, a bear zone, and the nature here is not one of dissonance yet. Uh, what happens is we essentially follow the lower time frames as we move up. And then once we get into this area here, um, that's where the dissonance becomes more prevalent because what, what happens is our lower time frames would still be bullish if we continued up into this line in the sand. If they remained bullish up into this line in the sand, then the line in the sand has an expectation that we get here possible stabilization. And from there, the, the market's going to make a decision, right? The market's going to make the decision. The expectation is the bearish decision because of what's happening on the upper time frames. However, this market could easily, easily press all the way up through the 64s, even the 70s and 80s, and it would still be bearish on those upper time frames. And that's kind of the tricky part about what's going on today. So in a situation like this, what we usually do is we follow what's happening on the lower time frames. And once the lower time frames kind of shift and fail, then we use that as um, confluence and trade location for the upper time frame idea. So a little bit more in depth in terms of the analysis here and what's happening in the overall context. Um, just something I felt I needed to explain as we go through kind of what's going on today. The narrative is not the strongest in terms of situation today, but we do have a state, a situation to follow for the, for the, the session up into a target area. And then from there, it's really a little bit more tricky and a little bit more hands off. Um, we want to wait for this market to kind of give us a decision and show us better trade setups on the lower time frames. So what's our general scenario? This is our main list here. And scenario one is that we hold bullish and continue up through this area and then head into this target area. If we're into this target area, that's kind of the end of the line for what we're expecting out of scenario one. And that would be it. Um, scenario two would be a full breakdown of you know this bullishness, maybe a hold here at this neutral zone, pushing back down this area here and then continuing lower. Um, and something like that. And then this would be our first target there. And then the continuation down into here for a little bit more of a of a move through some value um, back into where we had some prior value before we broke um, and built the prior value area yesterday. So the idea here with scenario two is possibly, you know, like a, 
like a two neutral zone type of move, two neutral area type of move, and that would be kind of the expectation on scenario two. Now, as we kind of, you know, piece this all together, um, if we get up into this bare area, this isn't a true line in the sand for us yet. It's just a recognition that as we go higher, um, we run into bearish areas on higher time frames. So this is the main target, and it's something to pay attention to as the market kind of develops today. And that's the best way to put it together. This is our main line in the sand because this is the the what is picture on the lower time frames as we head into the upper time frame targets. All right. So that's kind of the full breakdown of the landscape here today. Trade well, mind your risk, and uh, let's get after it.